I'm Kristner. Today I will be going over with you my tackle and other things that you might want to know about what I use for fishing. So first off, let's start with the rods. First off, we got my bait caster. This is what I use probably the least often because I don't really know how to work it yet. Um, so that's my bait caster. Moving on. Next, we got my spinning rod. Same brand as the bait caster. But Al. Blue Garcia. There we go. See? Um, next. Well, we'll go on to my other two trout and salmon rods. Alright, now we're gonna go over my fly rod. This is, um, a fly rod my grandpa, um, sent me. It's kind of an older fly rod, and then this is a new reel. Very nice reel. Very nice rod, too. I'm gonna give a little shout out to my grandpa, um, Chris. Thank you so much for this rod. Last but not least, we got my salmon rod. It is probably my favorite rod for the ocean. And, um, if you can see, this is how big the reel is. It's about the size of my hand. Now this is how big the baitcaster reel is. So this can do actually sea fishing. So, so I like about a really thick pole. Really about that thick and very good rod. On to the tackle. So secondly, I got my tackle. This is the stuff I got in the mystery tackle box along with some gulp minnows. Um, these are some of the soft pla scented soft plastics I have. And then in this box, I keep my um. Older soft plastics that have lost the seemingly lost their bags and hooks and stuff for these soft plastics. So, like, we got some robo worms, just miscellaneous things. Oh, we even got a frog in here. Look at that. So, we got everything from low worms to sinkers, drop shots, you name it, it's in here. So, even lizards. Curly tail worms. I could go on and on, but I'm going to stop. So, um, we'll go ne next to hard baits. Now, right off the bat, I don't use these lures too much unless it's summertime when they're hitting on top. And the only ones I'll actually use that often are either like. My favorite crankbait, which is a lipless, um, let's see here if I can find a thing. Hold on. This lipless crankbait, it's pretty good. Or, for my favorite top water, I'll use this little jitterbug. Okay. It's basically all the hard baits I'll even use. I'm not much of a hard bait guy. These are what I would be using on the bait caster. And I don't use them that often. So, you know. Okay, so it looks like on to sense line and miscellaneous. So next here I got my trout and salmon and fly fishing lures. See we got some salmon lures, trout lures, deep sea lures, you name it, I got it. And there. Um next we got some fly fishing lures, some top flies, you know, all the different flies. Don't know the exact names, I just know I got some nymphs from bluegills. On to the line and tools. Well, for how I spool my rods, I usually use this little um, 
rod spool, you put it actually, on, this attaches to your rod, and this feeds through the line, so you don't have to have someone holding it, and it spools your rods really good. Next off, we got my leader, which is, um, spin, spinter, um, leader wire for my flies. I normally have some pro, pro something line, it's braid, that's what I normally use, and then, or some spider wire, and then, I also, and then this is a little tool I got for Christmas. It's a fly fishing pliers, basically, to get the, out of the fish. Smell if you just pull the fly out. Next, I got some needle nose pliers for clamping down hooks and for getting it out of that bass's mouth, like that. Getting that hook out. Okay. Finally, we got my Anderson action cam and this is miscellaneous stuff. And this is little swim bait that I never use. Um, my Anderson Action Cam will probably have a review up once I start using that. And then, sorry about that, that was my little brother. Then this is my Procure Scent. And, um...